Hello, uh, this video is for Amanda. Um, I spoke to you earlier, it was great talking with you. Um, I went ahead and now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm recording this video um, just based off of what I was able to see on the website, uh, just to kind of give you guys some feedback. Um, I just would like some feedback if you guys could, uh, just telling me if the information was helpful or not. Um, but basically what I first wanna do is I wanna go through your uh, website, right? Um, so I really like the website. I like that uh, it's personalized, has, you know, good pictures on there, uh, contact, you know, shop and spa, overnight stays, he's so cute. Um, and then so, and, and this video is pretty cool. You know, the fact that it, you know, catches your attention that there's movement going on. Uh, you also have, you know, um, the, all of the, all of the pages that you have here, you know, this is where you have a lot of your wording, your pricing structures and everything like that. So that's, that's great. Um, the one thing that I would recommend, um, I do like this let chat, um, but I would recommend having, uh, more content on the front page, whether it be hidden behind something like this, there's, there's multiple different tactics for that. Um, but I would suggest that, you know, you have it to where you have at least 1200 to 1500 words on this front page. That's actually a pretty important aspect of being able to rank. Um, and I think that that's an easy fix. Um, and you want to put some keywords in there, right? So keywords, what I mean by that, uh, dog grooming Amarillo, Texas, right? So when you first search this, um, this is what somebody would pop in to find you guys. Um, you're going to find the map pack first, right? So the map pack is basically you get, uh, it looks like shaggy chic. Okay. So you guys might be on here. You might not. Um, uh, basically you just get certified through Google. It's actually free and it's pretty easy. And you get a place where people can start leaving reviews for you. So that's kind of nice. Um, so that's called the map pack. And, uh, then below that, you're going to have usually something like Yelp or something like that. And then you'll start having companies and every now and then you'll get like a big brand name, like Petco or something like that thrown in the mix. Um, but basically these sites are being ranked on these words, um, based off of how their site is set up. So I wanted to kind of show you, you know, this is your biggest comp competitor for these words. It's needusbarkus.net. So I came to their website. And if you look at their page, you know, they don't really have very much content either. Um, you go to their salon pages, you know, they have it kind of set up very, very similar, honestly. Um, but let's look at their, let's look under the hood. So this, this is my analytics tool to help me look underneath it. Um, so if you look at the UR and the DR, so UR is your URL ranking and DR is your domain ranking, but uh, I won't be speaking Greek to you. Uh, UR um, is basically like Google's way of saying, this is how trustworthy we find the site out of a hundred. The DR is Google's way of saying, hey, this is how much power I think this site has relatively when it comes to reputation. Um, to kind of throwing around your reputation, dropping names, if you will. Um, so then backlinks. So backlinks is, you know, think of somebody writing a blog or an article and they referenced your specific site. Um, and they said, yeah, hey, you know, if you if you want to get your grooming services or if you want to board your dog, Shaggy to Sheep, you know, definitely, uh, definitely look at them. Um, they, they do great service. And then they link to your site. That's a backlink. Um, so referring domains means that that's how many websites are giving them backlinks. So 24, 114 backlinks in total from 24 different websites. But here's a big thing. Keywords. Remember those keywords that I was talking to you about? Here's what kind of volume they're getting from those keywords because they're positioned two, positioned one for their own name. I don't really know how valuable that is because then people have to know their name to find them. Um, but 200 people a month search this 150 people a month search that 80 people search that, you know, that these, these add up. And when these add up, it can cause massive changes to the amount of customers that you're getting on, on a monthly basis. Um, so let's look at you guys. So I'm curious, you know, how you, how you guys are doing. So I'm looking like, uh, I, I don't see a UR or DR ranking. Um, so that can either be, it's a new site or it can be that it just doesn't have like enough backlinks or referring domains yet, or it might be an actual issue with the way that the site is set up to where it may be prohibiting Google's crawlers to actually index the site. Um, honestly, I don't think that's the case, but it could be, um, could very well be. I'd have to, I'd have to check the code for that. Um, so then three backlinks. So it looks like you already have other sites referring to you. Um, but one thing I want to mention three backlinks from, you know, two domains could actually beat all of these. If they were 
quality backlinks, you know, and that's the thing is not all backlinks are the same. Um, if you look at this, this DR is 87 and it's sending it to you guys. That's a, that's a good backlink. It has a good anchor, um, based on your name. That's a good quality backlink. Um, but it's Yahoo local search results. So it looks like you may have, you know, subscribed with them or put your business on that as well. Um, so that's, that's a quality backlink. Now I would say that you probably need some more of those. Um, if we look at your competitor here, um, looks like 79 and 13, but that's a no follow. So that's, I'm not going to get into the technicalities of that, but that basically means that they're not providing them any of their DR with yours. You have that, but, um, so let's, uh, let's kind of go into another area. I noticed on your website, you also have dog boarding. So it's kind of a bonus. Uh, these are what ads look like whenever you're doing Google. Um, most people skip past these. I know I do. Um, but La Chateau, that's, that's a huge one. Um, Willow Creek Kennels, that's a huge one. Nate, based off of your services, it seems like you guys are interested in daycare and overnight stays. So I went ahead and uh, just kind of searched that just to kind of give you some insight on how those websites look. So I came to Willow Creek. It's your number one competitor. Um, looks like, see, they're kind of following more of the rules. They have a lot more text on here. So they still don't have the 1200, 1500. I would guess probably four, four to 500. Um, definitely get up there. But if you look, this is their analytics on their keywords. 70, 70, 70. And I know this isn't as much as the grooming results, right? But these are more valuable customers, you know, and they're ranked one, 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 one. So they're getting people to click on their site when they search for these things. And if we look under the hood and see what they have, see, this is kind of more typical, right? They have a DR of 12, a UR of 21. Typically for a front rank paging, uh, front ranking page, I would expect like a DR of like, at least 25. So this actually isn't that difficult to beat. Um, the backlinks, they have 157, 44 different sites. Look at how many keywords they're using though. That's, I feel like they're kind of spreading their self, themselves thin because they don't have, you know, this one has information on it, right? But they don't have as much information as they could in order for them to be trying to go for 461 keywords. So it kind of, you know, there's a balancing act. You find the specific keywords that people, customers in your area are searching for, and then you implement those into your site. You don't just, you know, just implement whatever you think sounds good or whatever you think people search. You actually find what are people in my area searching to find my services. So I hope this was a little bit helpful. I hope it gives you some uh, basis, you know, to, to go off of. Um, I would love some feedback. Uh, if you want to, you know, either call me, I'll include my number, or if you want to email me back, that'd be great. Um, I just want to hear if the information was valuable to you. Um, but I hope you have a great night and uh, have a good week. Bye-bye.